getting my rice ready. So welcome everyone, so excited to be back again. I feel like I haven't been here for ages. Um, so we are going to be cooking tonight an amazing butter chicken. And this recipe is fabulous. It is super, super easy, super simple, and super quick, because you know that they are my three favorite things. Um, so we're gonna go through that, and um, we're gonna get on to it. We're just gonna give everyone a little while to get on. So again, we'd love to hear where, you, where you're calling in from tonight, where you're watching from. I know we get lots of overseas um, watches as well, which is really exciting. So we'd love to um, hear where you're watching from. Big hello to us, uh, to all of you from us at Magic Mix in Sydney. So getting a little bit cold now. So I think we're gonna have to start doing some beautiful soups and some curries and some real, you know, winter warmers. So, you know, like I always say, send in your ideas of the things that you would love us to cook for you. Um, and we would love to, to do that for you as well. So I think it's like risotto times and I've got a really, really amazing mushroom risotto recipe that I've been working on um, that I also turn into arancini balls and it is to die for. So I must do that one because it is really, really, really good. Um, so for any of my friends watching that I've done it for already, you can say, oh my gosh, it is amazing. Um, so we'll just give you a little bit longer to get on. So let's just check that we've got everything that we need. So we've got our onion, oh, sorry, our onion, looks like onion. We've got our garlic and our ginger, and then we've got our onion. So we're gonna pop that in first, so we'll get to that in just a minute. Now, for anyone that um, was querying what kasandi was or where to buy it, it's basically an Indian relish. So some Woolworths supermarkets actually do sell it. Uh, you can also buy it in your Indian deli, um, you know, supermarket, grocers, those sorts of things. But I would make it myself if I was you. I can share with you an amazing recipe that I do mine with. Um, you can actually store it in uh, sterilized jars in the fridge for a good couple of months. But once you've opened it, you've got a good couple of weeks to use it. But also try freezing it in ice cube trays. Two tablespoons, which is basically two ice cubes, is perfect so that you've always got it on the go. But it smells amazing. So if you want the Kasandi recipe, all you have to do is ask. So drop us a note tonight and I'll make sure that we get that to you as well. We've also then got our uh, pure cream. So pure cream is just a really thin cream. We've got our chicken. Now I didn't say to dice the chicken. So if you haven't diced your chicken yet, you might wanna start dicing. So about two centimetre pieces. Obviously, the smaller you cut it, the quicker it's going to cook. So I'll leave that up to you. If you want them to be sort of bigger pieces, that's fine, but it is gonna take a little bit longer to cook. So that's fine as well. We've also got our coriander. We've got our turmeric. We've got some sugar, some salt. I think that's it. God, I'm trying to use my memory. Um, and then we've also got some tomato paste as well. So it is, honestly, my children always have loved a jar in a bottle with a pinkish kind of label without telling you what brand uh, in butter chicken and that's all they would ever eat. If I changed the brand, they wouldn't eat it. I did this the other night and they were like, oh my goodness, this is amazing. So I'm telling you, it is a really, really yummy recipe. It's, it's kid friendly, it's family friendly, it's all of that. So I think we've probably got, I'm just gonna, so I can't see the time now. So I think we've probably given you all enough time to get on, but I have to do a big shout out because my mum just bought a machine. Now, of course she's young at heart, but the fact that she has always loved to cook, but she's been watching uh, you know, my love for this machine and, and everything that I've been doing that she decided, you know what, I have to be a part of it. So welcome um, mum to the video and, and uh, welcome to the life and the everything to do with Magi Mix. And I know my phone's gonna be running hot um, my sister bought one as well and they're all going to be constantly calling me what do i do what do i do and that's great because i'm here to help so welcome mum and um, welcome to everybody from everywhere and let's get started so we are going to use our expert mode because you know that that's one of my favorite modes to use so if you want to pop it on to expert now to get started and we're just going to pop in our onion and our garlic and our ginger okay so it's about a two centimeter piece of ginger if you, I, I think on the recipe I said three cloves of garlic. If you don't like a lot of garlic, drop it down. If you like it really garlicky, take it up. It's up to you and it's really about balancing the flavors that work for you and what it is that you really like as well. So we're going to do that and we're going to then 
pop on our lid. Okay, so what I like to do is just use the pulse button. Now I have talked about this before and the reason I do use the pulse button is because as you press the button you've got control when you're ready to stop just take your finger off and the machine stops but what you'll find is that the onion then falls back in then you can pulse again so anything you didn't chop the first time you can chop again and so forth and so forth. The fact that we've got a glass top means I can watch everything that's going on have full control of it so we're just going to use that pulse button. If you press the pulse button and it doesn't work for you, it's because you haven't got any time on the front of you, on, on your machine. So make sure there's a little, even if it's 20 seconds, it doesn't matter, but there has to be some time on the front of your machine. So let's just pulse that. I love watching how it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. So one of the things I hear people say is, oh, it doesn't chop onion enough. Use the pulse button, and I'm telling you, if you want to come in and have a look, this is absolutely, oh, my phone's ringing. Probably some, my mother going, I can't get on. <laughs> okay, but you can see that that's beautifully chopped. If you want it chopped a little bit more, by all means, chop it more. But to me, that is absolutely fabulous. Garlic, onion, and ginger is already smelling like I could eat that. So let's get all that in. So then we're going to pop in some sunflower oil, or veggie oil, you know, olive oil if you need to. I tend to like to use some sunflower or some vegetable oil. So it's about two tablespoons. So we're going to add that in there. And then we're just going to cook off our onion, garlic and ginger. And have that like that. Okay, so let's go with, we'll do about two and a half minutes. Speed three, temperature 110. So we'll just pop that up to 110 degrees. So hopefully you're all following that. So two and a half minutes, speed three, and we're gonna go at 110 degrees. So remembering that the expert, I'll just start that. Remembering that the expert mode is used because we know what we're doing. We know what temperature we want, we know what speed we want, and we also know um, how long we want it to go for as well. So I will take the cap off. I do find that when I'm doing things like onion and doing that sort of, you know, cooking them to start, I do like to take that lid off to stop them sweating. Uh, so we'll do that as well. I always love how it starts to steam really quickly as well. So you'll start to see that steam coming out very quickly. You can already see it. Um, which, what are we in? Not even, I'll oh, just hit 30 seconds. And do you want to come in and see what I mean? Let's see if you can see that. You can see within 30 seconds that steam is coming out of that machine. And that is all because of our induction heating um, that's in our base. So it's a perfect way to cook very quickly. It's a perfect way to get that temperature on instantly. And it's also that perfect to the degree or within a degree um, heat that we're getting out of that as well. So we'll let that go for a couple of minutes. So let us know um, if you get stuck or you're not sure where we're at. Rose is there answering questions. So hi Rosie and thank you. Um, so jump on and if you've got questions or comments, please ask um, and Rose can help you out with that as well. So we do really love doing these shows with you because um, it just means that we can see you using your machines and I think that it helps to build uh, confidence with people as well, that they're using their machines, that they're getting the most out of it. It is a big investment and it's, it's a really worthwhile investment, but it's something that if you're going to invest in that, you don't want partners saying, I told you that was a waste of money, you never use it you want to be using it. So, you know, it, you know, encourage yourself and, you know, back yourself to be using it every day, whether it's just for dinner or whether you want to use it right from the start of the day. Um, I'd be interested to know how many of you actually use it for more than one meal a day. So are you doing breakfast smoothies or are you doing your lunches or are you doing just your dinners? So let us know what you're doing with your machines because it really truly is something that you can use every day, every meal, every time of the day. And I always say to my kids, this is what they will be receiving when they move out of home, marry, whatever, because all they need on top of that is a kettle and a toaster. So it really does cover so many machines in their kitchens. So we're nearly there with that onion. I love the smell of onion, garlic, and that ginger in there as well. So we're nearly there with that. Seven seconds. Hopefully you're all keeping up with us. Hopefully my mum, hopefully that wasn't, was that her ring? No, it wasn't. There you go. Um, that would have been funny. So we're going to take that off, and now I'm going to pop in. Just get that out of the way. That just a little scrape off. But 
But now I'm just going to put, oh wow, that smells amazing. Okay. So now I'm just going to pop in my kasundi. So if you weren't on when I talked about the kasundi, you can buy it in Woolies. If you Google kasundi and where to buy, there is one in Woolies, but it comes up with a different name. I think it's called Avja or something like that, but it is the same sort of thing. But like I said, I can share and happy to share my recipe if um, you want to just ask. So I'm popping in, oh, that onion's stinging my arms a little bit. I'm popping in the kasundi. I'm popping in our tomato paste. Beautiful. I'm going to pop in those beautiful spices, so the turmeric, the coriander, some salt, some sugar. Pop that in there. Beautiful. Okay. We're also going to pop in there our cream. Now, if you want to do a double batch, you can double everything, so that's that's not a problem. I've chopped too much chicken tonight, so I'm not going to put all that in, but you can. Now, I'm not going to pop the chicken in yet. I'm going to actually just give that a little spin and just pop it on for, say, I don't know, probably just 15 seconds. Don't worry about changing the temperature. It's just going to give it a quick spin because I want everything there just to mix together. So I've just popped it on three I've left the temperature on, don't worry about that. And it's really just for five, 10, just, that's fine. That's all you want to do. And if you want to have a look now, you can see that we've got all that mixed in. And now we're just going to add our chicken. How beautiful. Wow, smells amazing. Okay. So I'm just going to add some of that chicken because I did go a bit crazy. I'm just going to check that I, that should do us. Okay, so I think I said about 600 grams. I just um, was chopping, the dog was biting at the door trying to get in because she, he, she could smell fresh chicken, we weren't going to let her in. I think my cameraman's just had onion eye. <laughs> it's hit her in the eye. Okay, so we'll get that over there and we're going to get this on. So what we're going to do now, I just gave a little stir just because I just wanted to see if I had put too much chicken in there and that's fine. It's looking fabulous. Pop that on. And now I'm going to set it for about 10 minutes. So like I said, depending on the size of your chicken as well, would depend on how long. Don't do any more than 10 minutes for now, okay? If you find that, oh, going to be crazy. If you find that you go to, you know, you have a look at it, in the 10 minutes and it's not quite cooked, just a couple of minutes at a time. Don't overdo it, nothing is worse than chewy chicken. And then I'm just gonna drop the speed down to 2A, okay. So I want that to stir every now and then, but I don't want it to mush up, I just want it to keep it stirring over the 10 minutes. So we've got 110 and I'm just going to hit start. So we'll just watch that. If it's starting to cook and you think that, that 2A is starting to stir a little bit much, we can adjust that, so don't uh, be too worried about that. I can't, I might actually change it to 1A actually. So change it to 1A, um, now that that's all stirred through. Oh, and that will just basically stir, every couple of minutes it'll stir for about 10 seconds. So a bit like if you've got it on your fry pan and every now and then you just come back and give it a little stir. So I'll just get rid of this. Okay, so I wanted to tell you all something that I thought was really cool. So I have um, two daughters and the older one is never really been into cooking. Um, I do quite often say, oh, it'd be really nice if you cooked dinner because I'm getting home so late tonight, but it doesn't ever happen. And it ends up being, can't we just get takeaway and uh, who likes takeaway when you've got a magic mix, let me tell you. So... I was at work on Tuesday night. We had the, the Life and Style show in at the Convention Centre in Sydney. So I said to her, I'd be really nice if you cooked dinner. And I was like, oh, it's probably two minute noodles or something. Anyway, so in her inf infinite wisdom, decided that she would copy one of the recipes that I've done here. So for you that have done the shredded chicken taco burgers, it is an absolute winner in this house. So I'm talking, they want it daily if they could have it, but I've had to cut them back to once a week because I'm like, you know, that's enough. So she got out the Magimix, she got out the food processor, she got out the stainless steel bowl. She watched the YouTube video because all of our Facebook lives are then popped onto YouTube. 
and she went step by step. She made homemade mayonnaise, so completely on her own from scratch, worked out how to put the machine together. She'd never used the machine, I promise you. Um, she then finished that off, put it aside. She then got on to shredding the chicken, steaming the chicken and then shredding the chicken. It was perfect, absolutely perfect. Like I got home and I was just like, it was eight o'clock and I was starving and I just thought, I just want to eat. And I walked in and dinner was ready. Now that's a first for me, let me just tell you. Um, and so I just made me think, it's really, really easy for people that have never even used these machines to actually get in and start using them. So I would suggest that if you do have kids that maybe don't really cook or aren't really into it, or that really do love to cook, get them involved. Because I tell you, you could get every second night off cooking dinner, if that's, you know, depending on how many kids you have. But the deal is now she has to cook for us at least once a week. And she can't do chicken shredded taco burgers. It has to be something new every week. So she's not happy about that, by the way. Um, has to be something new every week. So, you know, just get your kids involved. Get them cooking with you. Get them, um, you know, having a look at the recipes that they like and the things that they like and really get them to cook with you because it's amazing and it's such a relief that, you know, someone else can do that. And lots of you probably have kids that cook along with them or help, but I'm a little bit like, I just want to do it. Like, I just want to get it done. I know what I'm doing, so I'll just do it. Um, but, yes, I'm telling you now that my life has just changed forever. So make sure you get onto that. So we've got that cooking away. We're nearly halfway there already. Oh, it is smelling amazing. Yum. It smells so, so, so good. Okay, so some of you would have seen we have released our food processor cookbook. So if you want to come in and have a little look at the front of that. I would love to know who's actually bought it and who's actually started to cook with it. Because I'd really love to know what it is that you've cooked so far and what it is that you're really enjoying with this cookbook. So when it first was released, it is based on the food processor, but I have been doing some of the recipes in the metal bowl. So I just wanted to test it. We have a dough hook, so I thought, well, a lot of these things are breads and biscuits and things that would require a dough hook, so I'll give them a go. So, the ones that I've done, which looked at, so I'll probably actually pull them out of the cupboard, but then you'd have to see inside my perfectly organised pantry. Um, but the ones that I have done are, let's get to them, oh, we'll just get there eventually. Oh my gosh, these ones here. So these were the cheese crackers. They were amazing. Um, so a really great one to be able to do. The other one that I did was this one here, which was the breadsticks. I will give you a tip on those. I found that they were best eaten on the day. So they're not something that really that you want to store away. But bread's a bit like that. Um, it's not something that it's always better on the day that you cook it. So um, I'd love to know who's bought the cookbook. And I'd love to know, you know what you've made out of there. There are just so many things in there um, that you can actually do um, to be able to you know, improve what you're doing in the baking section. So um, we've also done... Oh, that's what Rose and I did the other night. We did, um, let me just find them. And this is perfect for this meal tonight. So in the recipe and what you need, we did say, let me just find it. I know it's here because I cooked them here. So we did say, you know, to serve with rice or to serve with naan bread or naan bread on the side. This is the recipe that we did out of the book with the naan bread and I'm telling you now in that eight minutes it, cook, made, it took to cook in the oven they were superb so absolutely amazing they were really great too if you're going to make them um, and you're not going to use them on the day I'd suggest freezing them on the day you've made them so then when you want to defrost them they're, they're back to sort of almost fresh so um, yeah make sure that you do that they're not like it like I said any sort of bakery bread those sorts of things are never great as the days go on, um, but pop it into the freezer, get them made and get them done. But they were super, super easy. Obviously, the only thing that takes time is that you need to prove the bread or the dough. Um, so that's the only thing that's gonna hold you up. But other than that, you roll them out, you brush them with your oil, you can sprinkle on them if you want anything, herbs, whatever, spices, whatever it is that you want. Pop them into the oven and it's about eight minutes. So absolutely beautiful um, that they are as well. So how are we going? Three and a half minutes to go. So, I'm going to ask you, so as you all know, we always ask a question, and it's your opportunity for us to have five lucky winners, 
And at the moment, our five lucky winners are receiving our beautiful little Magic Mix measuring jug, so they're super cute. So I wanted to do more of a bit of a survey. So people cook in different ways and people get their recipes in different ways. So one of the things that I wanted to know is if you were looking at buying a recipe book, would you prefer to buy a recipe book that is a hardcover recipe book, so you've got that to flip through and look at, or due to storage reasons or you know saving a tree, you would much prefer to download eBooks. So I know that there's some fantastic eBooks out there that you can purchase, you can pop on your phones or on your iPads and your computers and your laptops, and you've got them forever. Um, and it's a really great way for some people that might be in small um, areas, not a lot of storage, that that's a really great way to go. Um, so I'd love to know, and that's my question for you to win one of our fabulous jugs. Um, I, um, yeah, so, if that, and, and that's the way you're going to win. So what we'll do is you've got till tomorrow morning, 9am um, Sydney time. So we are 6.20 here now. So I know in Perth now you're only two hours behind us, so it makes it a little bit closer. Uh, but by 9 a.m. tomorrow, you need to answer the question, um, and if you are one of our lucky five, so we're going to randomly draw out five of our answers, and if you're one of our lucky five, then you'll be sent a beautiful little Magic Mix jug, so we'll announce the, the, the winners for you tomorrow, um, and we'll let you know. Well, I hope you can all smell that, and your neighbours are ready to knock on the door. Um, so, it's looking, just have a look. Oh, you can hear it sizzling away. Okay, so what have we got? Oh, I'm at 45. It's such a super quick cooked recipe. So, like I said, if you find that you've chopped your chicken a little bit bigger and it's going to take a couple of minutes longer, it's it's fine. Just do it. Just add a couple of minutes at a time. You know, ten, you tend to know with chicken. If I open this, it's completely raw. Then I'll put it on for another five minutes. But if it's just a little bit pink, then I might even need to do it for another couple of minutes. So I might just grab a little plate so I can test it. I would do some beautiful steamed green beans or some broccolini or something like that to go with it, something green, something yummy um, to give you that bit of vegetable in there. So it's, um, what are you thinking? Are you all like, oh my gosh, I need to eat this now because I am, it's killing me. Um, so I've just got some steamed rice here that I'm just going to pop. Um, you can just grab a scoop so we can check that it's cooked. Um, but yes, so the question I have, don't forget, I want to know, ebook or paperback? Save a tree, less storage, or going to, um, going to yeah, you, you let me know what you, what you prefer. Because we'd love to help you and make sure that you're getting all those things. So we'll make sure that we get lots of things out for you. Because we want you to have lots of amazing recipes, so that's something that we really work on. Um, trying to make sure that you've got all those things on hand and all those tools to use. Could you imagine like you're going out, the kids have got sport, you come home and this is what you're smelling as you walk in the door. Okay. Wow. Are you going to come in and have a look? Oh, this is sensational. Okay. I actually think, I did get a bit excited and cut those bits a little bit bigger tonight, but that's okay. I'm going to pop mine on just for another couple of minutes, I think, and then we should be good to go. And this is what we love, that we can just reset the temperature. It's already there. We're just going to up the time just for a couple of minutes. What is that? Two and a half minutes. It's okay. I can talk through that, and we'll get that going. Um, so let us know. Um, other recipes, like I said, coming into winter, we're starting to get that chill in the air in Sydney now at night. So, you know, we want to start doing some beautiful curries and um, some, you know, stew type things and um, casseroles. So if you've got things that you'd love recipes for, by all means, please let us know. Um, and we will endeavour to get back to you with lots of yummy things over the next few months. Um, I think that we could be in for a long winter because I'm a Mayborn baby. And it used to always get cold, like two weeks before my birthday, and I'm the end of May. So I'm not quite used to it being quite as chilly as it is already. So it could be a cold winter. So we're going to need some really good comfort foods for those really cold nights, aren't we? 
So we'll let that go for another couple of minutes um, and then we'll serve that up. But it's looking amazing. If you wanted to add, if you liked your, um, so when you try that kasundi in the recipe that I'll pop up there, it is really spicy. It is like quite, like wow. However, when you put it into the butter chicken and it's just those couple of tablespoons, you'll find that it's not overpowered, it's not overpowering. It's not actually got too much of a bite. Um, but I have, um, you know, friends that love really spicy food, so they would add more kasundi to this butter chicken recipe. Personally, two tablespoons is enough for me. But the kasundi is also really nice if you're doing um, like wraps and um, things like that. If you want to add it to a beautiful creamy um, prawn pasta, that's a really great one for kasundi as well with that little bit of bite and that little bit of tomato flavour is really amazing. So it's really worth making it yourself as well um, because it is amazing. It's to die for actually. So we've only got 40 seconds to go. Done at 6.25 and we probably didn't start till 6.05. So within 20 minutes we've got a beautiful amazing dinner. Tell me that your houses smell amazing because this is... can't wait. So we're nearly there, just that extra couple of minutes. If you need more time, add more time on, like I said. Serve it with some beautiful, fresh, steamed vegetables. Serve it on rice, serve it on zoodles, serve it on, you know, you might just want it by itself with the naan, up to you. So it's a personal choice, so. Um, we're nearly there. Three, two, one, beep. Okay. Surprising no one's knocking on the door yet. You know what, I'm really happy with the look of this now. Okay. Are you going to come in and have a look? I'm encouraging you all to just pop over here and have a look. Oh, gosh, smell that. Amazing. It is amazing. So I'm just going to double, I always like to double check with chicken. Let's just grab a piece out. It feels like it's cooked as I actually put that knife in. And I am... Very happy with that. So we're going to pop it onto our rice. I don't know about everyone else in the house, but I'm just about to eat because my dinner is served. We'll pop that on. Like I said, do some beautiful, nice steamed veggies on the side. And voila, we have our beautiful homemade butter chicken, not out of a bottle, all fresh spices, creams, tomato paste, kasandi, um, and voila, we have it. So don't forget, let us know, paperback or ebook, which would you prefer when you're, um, you know, doing your recipes? Um, we, we, you know, want to be able to help you with that. Let us know what it is that you want to be able to um, have us cook for you, especially as the months get colder. But to go in the draw to win that special prize, it's to let us know whether or not you like the paperback book or your ebook. So thank you so much for giving me half an hour in your kitchen. I really appreciate your time. For those that are watching it later, great as well. So it's always an opportunity for you to watch them again. We will always pop the method up for you so that you've got everything there and it's easy for you to go back to. The files are always on Facebook, but also join our YouTube channel uh, where you can actually get on there and have a look at all the videos we do. So Arena does some really great five minute videos. Rose does the cook along every other fortnight and we've got some great things coming up. We're also going to look at doing some really good things with the juice expert, but you'll have to stay tuned for that. I'm really excited by that one. It's going to be a little cheeky, some of them, but a little bit of fun. So thank you all for joining us. Love having you in my home again. And thank you so much. We'll see you all soon. Thank you.